Hey everybody, what's going on? Joshua Rafuato in Tampa, Florida. I uh, hope everybody's doing great. Today we got a video to show you guys the Aris M900 with a HearLink transmission system. The HearLink transmission system includes the new remote controller and the air unit on the aircraft. It is much better than what they come with from the factory, at least that's what we think. So we're gonna show you guys a quick video on how it works today. We've already done all the tuning and everything on it, so we're going to go ahead and show you guys just a quick overview on how to use it and what it takes to get it flying. All right, guys, so the first things first is installing the battery. You need to make sure that the battery is installed properly and that it's centered as well as you can get it on the aircraft and then go ahead and strap it down. All right guys, so the next thing to do is to lift up the wings and go ahead and lock them into place, making sure that you have them locked down properly. After you have all the wings lifted up and secured properly, you're gonna go ahead and remove the propeller guards. Once you've removed the prop guards, you're gonna go ahead and spread propellers out into their open position. All right, so before we power on the aircraft, we're gonna turn on the remote controller. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and install the battery. Make sure that this gets done properly and that it's fully inserted. And then you're gonna hear the aircraft boot up. Once the aircraft is powered on, you should hear it connect on the controller. Fail to boot flight mode. Then all the parameters will load and the aircraft is connected. All right, and before we use our aircraft, we have to press the safety switch, so we're gonna hit that. And the safety switch has been activated, so now the aircraft is ready to be armed. Also, the payload release at the bottom is ready to be used as well. All right, guys, and now that the aircraft is powered on and the controller is powered on and everything is connected, all of our telemetry is gonna start showing up, so like our battery percentage, the aircraft's level, and then the direction it's pointing, uh, our flight mode, uh, arm disarm button, and uh, how many GPS satellites that we currently have. So from here, we can go ahead and kind of get started, but all this looks good, and that's what you wanna make sure too. Also, our altitude above ground looks correct, you know, zero, which is exactly where we're at. We're on the, we're on the ground level, so. So all of our telemetry looks good, so we can go ahead and move into starting the aircraft. Before we start it, to change our different flight modes, you just tap on this button right here, and it's gonna bring up all the different flight modes that the aircraft offers. Position mode is the mode that you'll be flying in 99% of the time, so just kind of keep that in mind. You do have the option to switch to other modes, but most of our users are gonna just be using position mode, which is the GPS assisted mode, which is the easiest mode to fly in. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to arm the aircraft. and then slide that over. Um. All right, while the aircraft's still on the ground, if you need to disarm the motors, this is how you do it. Go ahead and tap on the arm button, select disarm, and then slide that over. The He's motors fired. will stop, and you'll hear a disarm command on the controller. Or instead of using the disarm uh, switch, you actually can press the kill switch, which we've mapped to the D button, Press and hold that. Disarmed. And once you hit a disarm command, the aircraft is now disarmed and the propeller should not be spinning anymore. The kill switch is also important just in case you have some sort of emergency and you need to stop the aircraft from flying. All right guys, and we also have the payload release mapped to the A button on this HearLink controller. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the A button That'll open the dropper and then let release it to close it. It's a monetary switch, so as soon as you let go, the dropper is gonna go back to its original position.
all right everybody so that's it um if you have an aris m900 and you want it set up like this feel free to reach out reach out to us at Fawado Unmanned Systems in Tampa, Florida. Phone number is 813-575-2160. Again, this is the Aris M900. We removed the SkyDroid RC system that comes with it and installed a HearLink. It is a much better system, definitely much more friendly for Americans and uh, takes this quad and makes it a, a great little unit. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you.